Here at Osmo, nutrition has become gender specific. Stacy, tell me about your research and really what was a field that no one had really looked at yet. Uh, so I come from an exercise phys and nutrition background mm -hmm. and uh, being a female athlete, all of my research was kind of driven from that. And women have this thing called the menstrual cycle. And estrogen and progesterone really affect the way that we can hydrate, how we can recover. Um, it increases our core temperature, drops the amount of water that's in our blood. Uh, progesterone is really catabolic, so we break down muscle tissue really easily. And uh, so I designed these products to kind of help alleviate those problems that women have with the menstrual cycle. So looking at how do we hydrate properly, changing some sugar ratios and some sodium potassium so that it actually goes into the blood. How do we cover properly? Increasing the amount of protein a woman gets right after mm -hmm. exercise so that it uh, slows down the way progesterone breaks things down. It really helps the muscle repair. And you were and are an elite athlete, but you've got a lot of degrees to back up all the science and the testing that you've done. But what for you was not necessarily the hardest hurdle, but what really became the impetus for this product? When I was racing Ironman World Championships, um, I got hyponatremic on the bike course and came across, you know, ate electrolyte tablet and had to pee like a racehorse and I was like, there's something here. Like, I've been doing everything that my male teammates have been doing and some of my female uh, you know, teammates have been doing the same, but the difference was myself and the other women who had problems were in the high hormone phase of the menstrual cycle. So that was kind of the impetus for me to actually look at what's going on between women and men, the menstrual cycle, exercise performance in the heat, how do we stay hydrated, how do we keep blood circulating mm -hmm. for performance. And that was way back, I don't know, early 2000s <laughs> when I started everything and throughout my academic career trying to answer those questions, help myself as an elite athlete and my teammates who have gone on to become professional athletes.